As a trade show marketer, your success starts with the people who come to visit your booth. These are the attendees that are interested in learning more about you based on what you've got going on in your booth. So it's key to make your booth attractive enough for people to stop by and check it out. In this video, we'll cover 25 different tactics you can use to attract that perfect trade show audience. But first, you need to know what type of people you want to stop by. The first part is to know who your buyers are. Then, you must know what type of people will be attending the trade show, know why they will be attending and what they need. With that information, you can design your booth to serve those that make a great fit as your ideal customer. So here are 25 ways that you can design your booth to attract your perfect audience. Number one, use visual appeal. Having an attractive booth designed to work perfectly with your location on the trade show floor is the first step to providing a great trade show experience for attendees. Graphics should be appropriate and eye-catching to draw potential customers over to you. Also, make sure that your staff are well-groomed, clean-cut, and professional-looking. They should have matching shirts or other means of identifying themselves as part of the booth staff. Also, make sure they are well conversed in your products, services, and company. Number two, interactive content. Interactive touch screens like tablets scattered throughout your booth are a perfect way to engage with trade show attendees on their own terms. They can come up to the touch screen and engage with the pre programmed content. The content offered can be interactive demos, videos, surveys and quizzes or prize entries. They're a great way of generating leads, especially if you offer things that attendees will really want. Number three, valuable giveaways. Everybody loves trade show swag. Some attendees go with the strategy of just collecting it. Make sure your booth has something desirable, whether it's valuable, useful, entertaining, or fun. The more people that want your giveaway, the more likely you can generate buzz about it and attract more audiences to your booth in the process. Number four, games. Everybody loves the idea of a game, competing to win. This idea might seem simple, but it works. According to Dougie Portwood, Director of Strategic Program Management at Green Road, games benefit humans cognitively, socially, motivationally, and emotionally leaving a lasting effect and encouraging us to seek out more of these experiences. Games used in a trade show booth can range from simple games like trivia, jumbo board games, or golf putting, to casino style games like a prize wheel, a roulette wheel, or a slot machine, all the way up to the price is right style games like a plinko board or a cash grab machine. Successful gamification will offer rewards, inspire competition, or both. So choose based on what your audience might really enjoy. Number five, contests. A contest is a form of competition that requires skill to win. It's usually paired with a prize that is equivalent to the amount of skill needed to compete. It can be in the form of a game, but it doesn't have to be. Contest ideas include Guess the amount of something in a container. Photo contests. One that involves searching for clues to solve a riddle. A matching contest. The highest score in the game, etc. The draw for a contest will be the bragging rights of winning, especially if the contest requires a lot of skill as well as the prize you're offering. Number six, quizzes. A quiz about the event, your company, your product or service, or the city the event is taking place in can be a popular draw to your booth. Quizzes are entertaining and engaging. They can trigger our competitive instincts and give a memorable experience with your brand. The best part about a quiz is that it is also informative when done right. Is there something you want your audience to learn about you that you can pull out through a quiz? Quizzes can also be used to qualify your audience as potential leads or customers. What do you need to know about someone that marks them as a potentially great fit with your company? And how can you use a quiz, not a survey, to find this out? Number seven, 
competitions. You can hold more structured competitions in your booth and allow your audience to judge them. What would your audience love to see people compete on? Think cooking, playing music, singing, making up somebody's hair or face, things like that. You can pre-arrange contestants before the show event and then advertise that the audience will be the judge. It can provide a lot of fun and entertainment and when you add in the fact that they get to judge, you know you're going to gather a crowd. Number eight, entertainment. Entertainment can cover a wide gamut of styles and budgets. A simple search turns up quite a list. There are magic shows, Rubik's Cube art displays, chocolate carving, robots, caricaturists, comedians, musicians, and the list just goes on. For those with huge budget, budgets for those with huge budgets we have seen clients go big and hire a popular musician and just plaster the event with ads to see the show you can scale down to something like dancing robots patrolling the trade show floor or have the entertainment locally in your booth what you need to remember with entertainment is to make sure the value of the entertainment is in line with the type of audience you're trying to attract Number nine, prizes. Prize giveaways are usually done via a raffle, scratch off, or some other game of chance. In this case, the value of the prize will most likely determine the attraction you receive to the giveaway. Make sure that there is a game of chance involved and that you have a system for collecting entries. And like everything else we've listed, make sure the prize is appropriate for your target audience. Prizes can be electronics, vacation packages, sporting goods, your company's products or services, utility items, tools, tickets to entertainment, etc. Just be unique and be relevant. Number 10, pre-show media coverage. Pre-show media coverage can be used to generate interest in your other methods of attracting an audience. If your presence at the trade show event is compelling enough because of the giveaway or announcement or entertainment or competition, then you could draw media attention before the event. One way to find out is to draft a press release detailing your compelling reason for attending the trade show event and what you plan to do there. Distribute it to media outlets that you know are covering or have covered before the event. Offer media pre-event interviews and sneak peeks and also invite their attendance to the trade show event to cover it live. You can also probably win some love from the event coordinator for the added exposure of the event as well. Number 11, free Wi-Fi access. If the trade show event or hotel does not offer free Wi-Fi for attendees, create a mingling space at your booth with free Wi-Fi access. You can display the Wi-Fi password at various places in your booth so attendees need to come around to get it. You can rent a 4G internet provider for a few days to be able to offer the Wi-Fi access to your booth attendees. Use the time that people are near to network with them. Number 12, free phone charging station. If trade show attendees are engaging with their smartphones during the trade show, they're going to be using up a lot of the battery. You know what the they'll be doing, texting, emailing, posting to social media, taking photos, etc. But when their battery gets up, they're going to be looking for more power. If you have a place set up where people can lounge and recharge both their phones and their bodies, you're sure to attract a crowd. You can then take the time to mingle, pass out literature, offer product demos, or just engage in conversation. Number 13, pre-show outreach. According to a study by the Commission for Exhibition Industry Research, exhibitors that conducted a pre-show campaign increased the conversion of booth visitors to qualified leads by 50%. Use your email list, social media, website, and other communication channels to reach out to those you would like to see at the trade show. Send out invitations for meetings or product demos Give VIP access to your entertainment or hint at a special announcement or offer only available at the trade show. Do what you can before the show to let people know you'll be there and why they should see you. Number 14, Comment Wall. 
Have a physical wall on your booth to allow people to write personal messages or comments on. Encourage passersby to come write something. This can be used to gather unique intel about show attendees based on what is written. And it's fun to browse the wall and read what other people write and will be sure to attract a crowd. Number 15, formal invitations. Use formal invitations for your most important leads and customers that you would love to connect with at the trade show. Send out an invitation like you would to your wedding or your kid's graduation. If possible, include free trade show tickets or other super beneficial perks to attending the trade show as your guest. This is one of the ways you can pull out all the stops in creating an experience for someone that you are really trying to impress. If your budget allows for it, create a VIP experience of the trade show, starting with formal invitation. These offers can be very hard to refuse. Number 16, food and drink. What better way to attract people to your booth than to offer them refreshment? Trade shows get very busy and a lot of people don't get around to eating or drinking as they should during the day. By providing a refreshment stand of some kind, you will inspire people to stop by and take advantage of it. Take this time to engage with them and perhaps qualify them for your sales. Ideas can range from simple water bottles and chips to more elaborate coffee artists and bartenders. Just be sure you're mingling in the refreshment area. Number 17, trained and outgoing staff. Because of your efforts promoting your booth, there will be a large amount of traffic in your booth. The last thing you need at that point is for your staff to be too shy or introverted to talk to anyone. Train them on how to approach people openly with curiosity and look for ways to connect with attendees. Which questions should they ask? What scripts do they need to know? How should they use body language? What is their goal when speaking with new people? Make sure your training before the show gives them the answers to these questions. Number 18, booth location. This might be a no-brainer, but I wanted to mention it anyway for anyone that may be new to exhibiting at trade shows. Where you are on the show floor matters. If you're tucked in a corner without much foot traffic, you're going to have a poor show. When working with the event coordinator, try to get as close to either the floor entrance, main aisles, any lounge or networking areas, restrooms, bars or food courts, or any other area where you can reasonably assume that there will be a decent amount of foot traffic. Number 19, demos. Have you ever been walking through a store and noticed a crowd gathering in a certain area? You're attracted by the crowd and go closer to get a peek at what is going on. In the middle of this crowd is a guy chopping up fruits and veggies with a cool looking knife. You just got sucked in by the power of the live demo. Giving live demo products at trade shows is a great way to draw an audience, especially if you can also make it entertaining. People will remember your demonstration long after the event. It's also a great way to sell direct if you brought inventory to sell. Take the opportunity to record any live demos you do at a trade show. These videos can be used to promote your products long after the trade show is over. Number 20, special announcements. As with live demos, making a special announcement at the trade show is a great way to draw a crowd to your booth, especially if you did a good job with pre-show marketing. This is going to be a one-time shot to get that big crowd together, so plan ahead what your strategy will be with this crowd. I would most certainly give my staff some time to mingle with the crowd before the announcement, so make it a few minutes later than scheduled. Also, have your staff prepared to answer questions about the announcement after it's been made. Be sure to record the announcement so that you can use it for your marketing efforts after the event is over. Video of this type can be repurposed into other content marketing pieces to help grow your business. Number 21, celebrity appearance. Having a celebrity attend your trade show is an awesome way to draw a crowd. But depending on the celebrity, it's going to require a huge budget. This is probably best combined with the entertainment tactic. If you can book a performer to do an event during the trade show, 
Ask them if they'd be willing to mingle in your booth for a while and sign autographs. Since you're already paying them to be there, it might not be too much more to get this added on, and you won't know unless you ask. As with the previous few tactics, can you record this to use for further promotion after the show? Number 22, Meetup Area. Do you have a room to add a small networking or mingling area in or next to your booth? Having an area that people can stop and rest or speak in private with each other is usually in short supply on the trade show floor. By providing this, along with refreshments, your booth will become an unplanned destination. While you don't want to intrude with salesmen in this area, take advantage of signage and graphics to really spread your company's message. Number 23, lounge area. As with a meetup area, having a place for attendees to sit and relax for a few minutes can be a lifesaver for those on their feet all day long. Provide a comfortable lounge area and some refreshments and you will see quite a lot of attendees over the course of the trade show. These last two tactics can be expensive because of the added trade show floor space you'll need to buy. Some businesses might be better served offering a lounge as their booth instead of a traditional booth. This really depends on your goals for the trade shows. Either way, it does a great job of attracting attendees. Number 24, educational workshops. If you can teach something valuable in a decent amount of time, you should be holding workshops at regularly scheduled times in your booth. People attend trade shows for many reasons, but one of them is to learn. Teaching gives you the opportunity to showcase your expertise and provide value for those who attend. Value is the essence of relationships and relationships are the essence of business. You can also use this opportunity to get your branded information such as worksheets or cheat sheets into the hands of your audience. Number 25, use video. Videos are a versatile tool in your trade show arsenal. They can be used to draw attention to your booth. They can be used to show product or service demonstrations. They can be used to communicate with your audience. If you're going to use videos, be sure to have them professionally created and be very mindful of sound. You want people to be able to hear them without being blasted by them. Trade show success depends on attracting an audience to your booth. These 25 tactics are time tested to work and use them in combination to really explode your results. This video is brought to you by Zibio Custom and Portable Exhibit Solutions. We specialize in providing custom designed and built trade show displays. If you need help with your trade show marketing, give us a call at 866-408-4099 or visit our website at www.zibio.com.